about child welfare issues. Yeah. Very moving speech. Uh, up until this year, your government had reported the deaths of 56 children who had died in care or while receiving protective services from the province. Uh, Minister Bular shocked a lot of people last two weeks ago yeah. when he announced that the actual deaths over the last 15 years were 741. I'd like to ask you why Albertans and the legislature were not told about the deaths of those 741 children and what you're going to do as a government to commit to making sure that that kind of uh, that kind of death toll is not suppressed again. Well, it's it's a terrible circumstance here. It's a terrible circumstance across the country. Uh, it is something that we all need to do better on, and no one's shying away from that. Um, I want to point out that the reason that you have the figure that you do right now is because this man did work as soon as he realized that there was a problem and became a new minister to make sure that Albertans understood what the circumstances are. Yeah. We are we are well, taking get an order from the privacy commissioner compelling. Well, your well, Paula, what you that. what you didn't get. There was not an order compelling Minister Bular to stand up the first week of January and to clearly set out what the circumstances were in the past 15 years. There was not an order. That was something that we decided to do as a government. And we did that because we're concerned about the problem. We have put in place many steps already, and there are more to be put in place. And we are going to do, we are, I'm going to finish what I'm going to say. Keep those deaths secret from the public until then. That was not a decision made by the government. It was a matter of understanding the information that could be managed by government, how the privacy commissioner would be involved, and what the rights of individuals were. Now, you'll know that today, one of the most important discussions that this round table will be having is whether or not those are appropriate rules. Quite frankly, from our perspective, and you'll see this from the minister, they were not appropriate rules. And so the question today is, what should the rules be? And we're going to make sure that we get there, that we implement those rules, and that we can continue to improve the system. Why did it take so long to realize that those rules needed to be changed? Well, we have a minister who is committed to making sure that this system is improved and that we protect every child. I'm very proud that he's the minister. I'm very pleased with this round table, and I think we're going to get some good results. Well, you, 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 well, you change the privacy rule regardless of what comes out of this round table. Like if there's no recommendation to release more information publicly, will you release more information? Well, quite frankly, based on the discussion that I've seen yesterday and today, I can't imagine that it wouldn't come out, but I'll let Man Meet speak to that. Um, based on what I... I think shown over the last number of weeks, I think you can sense that uh, I'm looking for an outcome of increased transparency and I'm merely asking the question of how that should be uh, taken place to take into account the personal interests of families and children and siblings. But uh, the bottom line is I commit to uh, the release of information. I'm just asking the experts how we protect others in the system while we do it. So that's a very narrow question that I'm asking. Last question to Matt here. How confident are, uh, are you both uh, that this roundtable will lead to legislative changes as soon as this, this spring session? Go ahead. Um, quite confident. <laughs> yeah quite confident I mean there's there's I, I've been very clear about this from day one there's some pieces that my gut says just don't make sense and so uh, but experts have a lot of opinions and they're all good opinions uh, but uh, uh, we need them to to flush out some of these ideas so we can get to a better place so that we can make sure there's ongoing and continuous accountability and transparency within the system and most importantly so that we can talk freely about issues that are so sensitive and so difficult in our province so we can actually get to the root of so many of these challenges. All right, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you.